Hey guys and gals, it's Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. And today's video is nothing to do with technology, has nothing to do with information, <laughs> has nothing to do with computers, information technology, uh, WordPress, Drupal, has nothing to do with that, no movie reviews. It has to do with what's going on today with the crowning of this Charles dude as king. <laughs> this is just a whim, impulsive, and it's just... Um, basically a monologue on how ridiculous, how absolutely ridiculous this whole thing is. We live in the year 2023. If you're not aware, that is the year we live in, right? <laughs> this isn't the 16th, 17th, 18th century, right? As far as I know, I didn't back up in time. I didn't fall asleep last night and, and get up in uh, 1832, did I? How ridiculous. How ridiculous is this? So there is a man who just happened to be the correct sperm that just shot into the right vagina <laughs> and just found the right egg and, and then was born nine months later. And that's it. That's all he did. He has no claim to fame. He didn't do anything. The only thing he did is he was born. And now he is king of England in 2023. Now, I don't know how you feel about that. If it's if it's um, not nostalgia, it's not the word that I'm thinking of. Tradition, I think, is more of a word. Is it a tradition thing? I think it's a tradition that's very archaic and it's very stupid. And I'm watching um, some of it on, on the TV and just the costumes and the parade and the extravaganza and the festival of it all and how much money they dumped into this stupid shit is ridiculous. And I'm sure the taxpayers, because royalty there doesn't have a job, they just, they were born. They were born through a bloodline. That's all they've done. That is their only claim to fame. That's all you have to be, is born <laughs> to be the King of England. It's so fucking stupid and it's so dumb and it's so funny. I just wanted to get on here and just, um, spout out what I feel uh, about the matter because I just think it's so damn ridiculous and it's so funny. It's so comical. And the people of England, you look ridiculous. In the country of England, you look ridiculous. And I'm sorry that it is your tradition um, that's passed down from century, decades and centuries and so on. Great. Big deal. Slavery was a tradition too. You know what? That was scummy and archaic too. <laughs> Not that this is particularly um, scummy. It's just weird. It's just strange in 2023 that... Um, this is happening. So here's the dude. If you didn't know, if you didn't even consider, oh, here I am. Here I'm the king. Of, <laughs> I'm the king of England. There I am. There I'm sitting there. I'm ready to be crowned. So this is Charles, Prince Charles. <laughs> I mean, he looks inbred. Um, I know that's body shaming. That's that's naughty of me. Um, yeah, he's not a particularly great looking guy, and um, mostly we know him from being. Um, married to D Diana, who passed away a long time ago, because um, the story goes, if you're not aware, that paparazzi were was um, following Diana, which they often do. And of course, they've got to get the skinny or some shit on her and take her picture. And I don't understand that whole thing either. I don't understand celebrity. I don't understand Star Magazine, the Inquirer people. I don't understand why people gravitate to this. I'm getting to a point here. Um, I don't understand why people live through fame. Famous people, not their own life. They comment, um, they're hypocrites because their lives are not perfect, but yet they feel that they com They can comment what these entities like the Star and the Inquirer and so on are telling them. And that's not even the truth. There might be a snippet of truth in those magazines, or they just make the whole shit up. So I just bring that up. Um, First off, I wanted to talk about Diana real quick. Um, and then to the fact that how we gravitate, it's like the marriage between the two boneheads there. Um, his son and I don't know, the other actress. It's so stupid. The whole marriage was stupid. The whole ceremony was stupid. And again, it's just, it's just a kid that was sperm and he has all this stuff, all this extravaganza stuff by the taxpayer 
because he doesn't have a job. He doesn't do anything. He travels the world. He goes to events. He goes to fancy dinners. And that's their claim to fame. And that's the ridiculousness of this whole thing. And that's Oh, sorry. I got off on a tangent about celebrity. And then I forgot to finish the story about Diana. So she was, um, if you're not aware, she was being followed by a paparazzi um, in her car and she- not sure 100 percent what the story was but the chauffeur of diana uh, was going too fast or was trying to get away from them but what happened is he got into an accident and that caused her death unfortunately so fuck you paparazzi um speaking of people that need to get real jobs and people that are really scummy um they're probably the bottom of the barrel right there um so anyways diana uh, rest in peace. And these are the two other boneheads I was trying to think of, um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, when they got married. That was ridiculous, too. That was just as ridiculous as what's going on today with this King Charles dude. Um, just the spectacle, the money that was pumped into it for two knuckleheads that absolutely have done n- nothing in life. I think she was an actress, and then he was born. He just happened to be a sperm, just like Charles, and that's his claim to fame. He was sperm, and everyone had to know what uh, what dress she was wearing at the wedding, what the silverware was, what kind of toilet paper they wiped their ass with. I don't know. I don't get celebrity like I indicated, and everyone's just, they salivate, and they must have these details because it's so enriching for their own miserable lives. Anyways, he doesn't have any power. He's not making any laws. I mean, you have a parliament for that, right? And you have a a, a minister. Or, um, trying to think what England has. Not a minister, a prime minister, right? Um, to do that, you have your government that is elected and that works for the people or supposedly works for the people. Same like the United States, right? Supposedly work for the people or I guess half the time. Um, this is a figurehead. This is a person that was a sperm shot out of a penis, went into a vagina, went into an egg nine months later, popped out. And I don't know. I don't know how old the guy is. 70, 80 years old, 70, 80 years old. He's king. Didn't have to do anything for it. Doesn't have any claim to fame. I couldn't tell you what the fuck Prince or King Charles has done with his life. <laughs> um, let's, for instance, so let's take let's let's take Dwayne the Rock Johnson. All right, just because that's the first name that that came into my head. He's made movies. He's entertained people. This is probably a bad example because he's just a, a movie star. But at least we know he's done something. He did something to gain his celebrity, I guess. But what has this dumbass? <laughs> what has this dumbass done? He was born. So it's just so stupid. It's so archaic. It's really ret- uh, retarded. Can I say retarded? I guess I just did. Um, this whole look at all these costumes and the money that was put into this. I guess this is probably old clips of old, probably his dad or something being king. I have no idea what this is. Look at the spectacle. Look at the crate. It's like going to Disneyland for the weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this has got to be like past stuff. There he is. Look at that chariot. Look at that. Just the sheer money. When people are starving, uh, when there's so many other issues going on in the world, you know, you've got climate change, whatever you believe about that. And you have certainly have poverty all over the world. You just have all these other issues. And to me, to look at this knucklehead being crowned King of England in 2023 is ridiculous. It's weird as fuck. And it's funny. It is very funny to me. Um, it's just insane. It's insanity. The, the country of England is is lost their collective minds. <laughs> and so is that. It's not just England. It's the world that is watching. It's anyone that's watching this stuff and just gossiping about this stuff. And, oh, my God, or just all gooey about this stuff. It makes no sense to me. It's ridiculous. And it's funny. So I just wanted to get on here and um, spew off and give you my two cents. And it was really, I just looked at it in the spur of the moment. And I go... You know, I'm just going to make a quick video about this and just put out my two cents if anyone cares. And um, I don't know. It's just so ridiculous. It's just so it's overwhelmingly ridiculous. And I guess it is like a train wreck to the fact that I can't stop thinking about it because I'm just fascinated 
to the fact this is happening in 2023. This is happening. It's just weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird. All right, gals and guys. I know this is not a video I normally make, a uh, commentary video like this um, about some bonehead, uh, an ocean away, who's getting a crown on his head, and that's all he needs to do the rest of his life is be king. He didn't do anything for it. Um, he was born, and now the whole world is watching. And if you, that doesn't sound crazy to you, then I don't know what will. It sounds absolutely nutty to me. But uh, all right, gals and guys, please subscribe if you could be so inclined. Um, please subscribe and crown me king of YouTube just because I was born. I should be king of YouTube. And we should have a big party and festivities and everything. And um, spend a lot of your money. You send me money so I can pay for it. Um, so work hard, send me money so I can pay for this extravagant king of YouTube event. And I will be crowned the king of YouTube uh, just because I was born. I didn't do anything for it. I just happened to be around. All right, gals and guys, please subscribe if you like. Please hit the thumbs up if you like. Anyone from England, I understand. If you thumbs down, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Your country needs to, not that my country is, you know, all all sugar and spice and all, everything nice, but what you're doing is ridiculous. I'm so, I'm so judgmental. Am I being a dick right now? <laughs> Am I being an asshole? Probably being so judgmental towards your country and your traditions. Um, anyways, please subscribe, like share bell for updates, and I'll try to do some, uh, computer tutorials next and hopefully no other strange world events will happen today. And I can uh, go ahead and do that. So I appreciate you as always. Uh, good for you, Charles. I don't know. What can I say? Congratulations to your ridiculousness. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.